How you doing, everyone? Uh, welcome back to Serene Madness. I'm not wearing the hat today because the hat needs to be clean, so I'm not wearing the hat. So uh, today, what I'm going to talk about is a lot of people have been asking me to. Um, they want to see my EDC and uh, what I carry and that kind of stuff and how I carry it. I haven't done one in about a year, so there it goes. Um, First, I'll show you what I'm carrying for knives. Uh, I carry this. The Boker Plus, um, I'm not exactly sure what they're actually calling this. It's the Boker Plus uh, 2014 uh, Kiridashi. This was given to me by another YouTuber, Sparrow Angus, as a gift. And they're awesome. I just love this little knife. So I carry that in my bag. Uh, lately, I've been carrying this, the Kershaw Emerson uh, Q3, the Tanto one, Tanto version, black, and this is the two and three quarter inch plate one. This is the smaller one. So I'm carrying that as a folder. Close. I'm carrying my, I carry my Marshall PP, the original PP, People Poker, uh, number seventy one made by Marshall, L. Marshall 32. My boy Marshall. So those are basically the three knives I carry right now. Um, the bag I use, I do use a bag because I have to. I use the Max Edition Fatty, the black, swap black. I'll show you the front. For now, just a little mesh pocket with Velcro closure. And I carry my uh, iPhone in this with my stylus is I have a little velcro thing in the top for uh, moral patches morale moral patches morale patches and this is one I just finished I actually made this one I was gonna do a video on this but I figured oh, I don't know what you do is if you go to the dollar stores they have these sometimes you can find these really cool uh, vinyl keychains and basically what I did was I just cut off the keychain part on the top and then just attach Velcro to the back of it and you get a morale patch. Right here, I have a little, just a little lanyard thingy I made with a, with a black aluminum key fob to keep aspirin. I keep aspirin pain relievers and gas um, relief and that's pretty much in that kind of thing. So gas relief and pain relief is going there. Um, on here, my son Mini Madness got me the Kingpin, uh, King Pig um, keychain from Angry Birds. There he is. So I got that and I put a little lanyard on it that I made because the zipper part came off. So a little pull tab thing. So I made my own. Inside, it's got a wide inside. I'll show you the inside real quick. It's got all kinds of pouches and loops and things. And, uh, my wallet. And uh, I got one of these flat wallets kind of things that I got. I picked it up at a, one of those cheap um, Walter Drake kind of catalogs. And for like a dollar ninety nine, And it has, uh, it's got all these things for pockets. And um, I also carry a, somewhere in here, oh, it's in a different spot, I carry one of those survival tools, credit card size wallet tools, survival tools, in there, along with everything else, all my other stuff, so my wallet goes in there, and I just keep it flat on the inside of the bottom part. And I have my business card case with my business cards in it. It's very madness. And then I carry a little bottle of scented oil. This is black opium from a company called Arlick Blends. They make awesome, awesome stuff. And you should always carry a scent. You should, because sometimes you stink. And you need to unstinkify yourself. So carry some some 
essential oils. And if you take the essential oil and you put it in there, the crevices of like your elbow, right here and here, and then like right underneath your neck where the crevice is, that's where you sweat. And the oil mixes with your sweat and it will enhance the smell. And with essential oils versus cologne, oil will last longer on your skin rather than alcohol. So I'll keep that with you. Lighter, refillable, thick lighter, skulls on it. Um, I have a foldable spork. Folds. You never know when you're going to have to throw down. I found some quarters in there. Sweet. Laundry money. Um, here's my screamer that Dell from Dirty Room Knives made me. This is the original screamer. This is a multi tool that me and Dell kind of hacked, hashed out. I wanted a, something inexpensive from them back last year. I said, could you make me just like a cheap multi tool or something that I can have from you? And he said, hold on. He said, wait a minute, give me a few months and I'll think of it. Something. And he came up with this little bottle opener. Put a little Kydex sheet on it and uh, let me see if I can get it out. And it also has a little blade on the end of it too. And if you look at it, there's the face and the eye. It's a mouth. Calls it the screamer. And he still makes them. You can get them on his site. I'll put his, uh, what I'll do is I'll put his uh, link in the description box below so you can find that. So I will do that for you. And I'll just put that down because sometimes it sticks. Um, I carry the Nan LED flashlight, just a regular torch, really bright, with skulls on it, because I love skulls. I'm a skull collector. I have a whole bunch of skulls in the hallway. I'll have to show you that at a later date. This I carry is a inexpensive Gerber knife sharpener. And let me tell you, these things are really, really awesome. Um, they really, really do a good job for cheap money. I think these are like three dollars. So I keep this in my bag to sharpen my blades. It's just you have coarse and you have fine on there, and it's just really, really awesome to have one of those. So I use that. Here's a cool little item that I keep in my bag. It's a little um, photo frame, digital photo frame. You can pick these up anywhere. They're cheap enough. They're like under $10 now. And what I do is I keep uh, this button on the back. I'll turn it on, see if it's got any juice. Does it have any juice today? I think it's out of juice. Oh, it needs to be charged up. But anyways, I keep photos, my family photos, and um, things that, uh, photos of things that I made, like kind of like a little portfolio thing that I can carry around with me. So when I talk to people, like out and about, I can show, like, show them things that I've made. It's really kind of a neat idea, so I carry that. Um, so if you look on the pouch, there's all these little leather, these flexible little strappy things. And uh, I put all that stuff in there. And then underneath the back here, the flap, there's another zippered case down in here. I mean another zippered pocket down in there. And what I do is I keep stuff like band-aids, stuff like that. And I also carry a small, um, small measuring tape. Just my father gave me this like 35 years ago or whatever. Boston something. Some tool place. He had this and gave it to me. So this is kind of sentimental. I've had this forever. And it's actually made by Zippo. I just realized that. Zippo. Yeah, it has a Zippo one. I just noticed that. So, uh, yeah, keep that. It's always handy to keep a little measuring tape around with you, carry on you. So that goes in there. And then on the upper, on the upper flap, you have more, more of these things. These little things, these loop things. And what I do up here 
as I keep my tactical pen. Let's see if I can just show you this way. I have my tactical pen, and this one has a light on the end of it. Let's see if I can turn it on. Did you get there? It goes. This one has the light on it. Underneath it, I have a mini sharpie, and then there's something cool. You get these, or you can get these at like CVS. That's where I got these. And breath spray comes in these, but when they're done, you can refill them and use them. So what I do was I label them, and this one has hand sanitizer in it. And then what I also did was I refilled it. This one with breast spray, so it's labeled breast spray. And you, I just filled it with um, mouthwash. So you can spray your mouth and spit it out if you have to for that fresh breath. Then I keep one of these. This is a little tool I made. It's a little reset button poker thingy. Like on my video cameras and stuff, if you have those little holes, those little reset holes, you needed to reset a piece of electronic that's funked out on you, you can just I use it to, you know, prick the hole and reset. So it's my little reset tool that I made out of a paper clip and a piece of duct tape. I have a uh, Kershaw um, Torx set thingy. This has got four different um, Torx heads in it for knife tightening, tightening up the blades. Also keep some sticks of gum right in here. And then right here there's a, I'm dropping something. Right up here there's a little loop for keys or whatever. And then there's another little key thing right here which I keep a Gerber Curve, little multi-tool. And then in the back, there's another flap right here, which I keep um, notes, notepad, and uh, needle and thread. And here's a cool idea. I came up with this idea. Um, I take a lot of medication because of my disability, and um, I always should have, you should always have a medication list on you. So. Uh, what I do is I take the prescription thingies off the bags that I get with my prescriptions and I just tear them off and then I just tape them together with shipping tape and make this accordion kind of thing with it so I know what I have and I can just fold that up and use it as a cheat sheet so I keep mine, my son's and my wife's uh, Minnie and Mama's all the scripts so I know exactly what we all take and what we do and for emergency sake. And then lastly I carry um, a little extra one of these plastic little accordion things and I keep miscellaneous cards and things in here like doctor's business cards and dentist business cards and that kind of thing. And one of the most useful card that's cards that I have in here besides my ATM card is this. My brother gave me this a long time ago. I hate figuring out tips. So I have a tip. My brother gave me this a while back, and it's a tip uh, tip table. I'm not a tip people. What to tip people. It has the percentages and all that, so I keep that on, I keep that on hand. So I, I can tip people correctly. So that's pretty much my EDC. Uh, what I've also done is I've attached just the regular strap and what I do and there's also a tactical guitar pick somebody made me it's a little pry thing so what I do is I just take the clip and I wrap it around my thigh since I'm sitting down so basically I'll back up so when I sit I'll show you my bag sits like this in front of me so then all I'm going to do is just open it up and I can access all my stuff with it. That's pretty much how I carry it. And then I also carry the hats and I either wear my Boston hat, which with my little Cindric 77 horns on it that I sold from him. And uh, my sunglasses, I either carry the flame sunglasses or the steampunk sunglasses. And then I also wear the bowler out. So. I got other things. I have a cane. I have a solid cane that 
or a cane or something along that lines that I carry too. So um, that's pretty much it. Find your serene and mad world. Hope you enjoyed the EDC video. I'm out. Have an awesome day.